Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll learn how to create a manifest file. So Kubernetes, uh, whenever you are creating any Kubernetes resources, you have a declarative method and you have an imperative method uh, to uh, create your resources. So the declarative method is uh, something that you have written on AML manifest file or json manifest file right and the imperative uh, method is uh, which you do uh, on the cli right so i would show you the both the imperative method and uh, the declarative method here so uh, basically uh, let's say you have to create a pod uh, right uh, you don't have an ml uh, in hand so what kind of resource you should follow to right so in those cases uh, your first point of reference would be your kubernetes.io uh, site right so uh, kubernetes.io okay you can get a reference here so it's just opening up yeah so here uh, you would uh, find uh, uh, the blogs uh, the documentation you go to the documentation and here uh, if you uh, type a manifest manifest or pod right so it it would give you a uh, different uh, search results so on that you can choose your requirement or whatever uh, page you want to go in click on that uh, here i have uh, come to a page where i can possibly get a manifest for the static pod so if you come over here you would see that uh, there is a manifest file manifest definition or manifest file for the pod which is creating a nginx web server all uh, right so <clears throat> This is first thing. And now let's say uh, you don't have access to uh, uh, ac access to internet, right? So you cannot refer to uh, Kubernetes.io. Now, are you stuck? Absolutely not. So in Kubernetes, what you can uh, do is uh, you can create a manifest through imperative model as well and then apply that manifest, change your settings in that manifest and apply that right so let's say i need to create uh, uh, let me see uh, uh, which k get pod right so let me see what pods are there okay so uh, there is a pod running uh, anyways uh, what we would do is uh, our uh, topic is to create a, a pod from the imperative method so what you will do um, let's say k run uh, I'll, I'll give uh, the pod name as uh, let's say manas uh, hyphen web okay and uh, then what i'll do is uh, i'll uh, give the image image let's say image as nginx right and hyphen o yaml okay so what it is showing me that this is the uh, yaml uh, configuration for uh, the pod right so what i can do is i can redirect it to a file so minus hyphen web dot yaml right so uh, mana uh, it is saying that minus web already exists uh, let me see that uh, Okay, let, let us create a minus one. Okay. A oh, pod is exist. Okay, we just ran the pod. Uh, so uh, let me uh, get the pod. Right. So the pod is already exist. That's why uh, it is having a problem. So, okay, delete uh, pod minus web. Okay. The pod is deleted now. Let's create a YAML out of that. Uh, manifest out of that. So I've created a manifest file. Uh, the pod is uh, should be running now. 
yeah it is running connect uh, sorry it is container creating but we do have a manifest file so let's uh change that file okay so now uh, let's say i want to give uh, the name as manas web1 okay and uh, let me change the container uh, container name also web1 right i am not going to change uh, any of this uh, all this stuff i am just uh, changing that and to see uh, the idea that we are able to create a uh, pod using this manifest right so how to create a, a pod uh, how to apply okay apply hyphen f minus web dot ml so you can see the pod minus web one has been created so let's get the pod you can see minus web one has been uh, created so this is a imperative method uh, to create a uh, create a uh, 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 create a pod right uh, like that you can create a deployment you can create a uh, 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 create uh, um, and get uh, the yaml file for the deployment and uh, uh, do changes into that deployment and um, uh, also apply that uh, uh, according to your uh, use cases so this will help you when you are um, when you are going for ck examination you have to uh, create manifest uh, through the imperative model and uh, uh, then you have to change uh, whatever uh, the questions uh, uh, brings to you do that changes apply that manifest all right so that's it for uh, the uh, that's it uh, for the uh, for today's video we have seen uh, the imperative model we have seen the declarative model of creating the kubernetes manifest file thank you thanks for watching this video please do subscribe the channel if um, uh, if you have not subscribed yet and uh, please do uh, press the bell icon to get the notifications thank you